hi and welcome back to my channel keeping up with kia p i am a girl kia p aka kia the crafter and today we working on another steering wheel car tray i have already pre put my lights in hopefully they'll stay in place because i didn't want to take up a lot of my video time fixing the lights um Someone did have a suggestion to pour a little bit of the resin and then let it get tacky and put the lights in like that. But I just don't find that to be doable per se. But if you want to try it, you're more than welcome to do so. Um, I just like to go ahead and pour them like, you know, like this. So... That's what we're going to do. And I just shouldn't have touched it because now, okay, perfect. That's even better. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and pour our lights. I mean, pour our resin. I have 20 ounces ready to go, already pre-mixed. We're going to go ahead and mix some colors. Um, I have my small one, which I'm going to do the darker color with that, with the smaller ones. I'm going to pour a little bit of resin in there. And that's going to be my little dark color to kind of drizzle through. The main color will be our um, cream. And then I'm going to do some marigold in there as well. Someone saw the Cadillac tray and they wanted one. So here we are making it. I sold the Cadillac tray for $65. So. Just in case you guys want to know. Um, so I have just some acry um, acrylic paint and cream. Or nude or whatever one you want to use. And I'm going to pour that generously in there. And then I'm going to take my stick and stir that up. We're going to mix that up. And I'm going to try to bring it close so you guys can see it. Once I get it mixed. want to get that in there mixed up real good oh I think I poured the wrong one in here and I did oh no did I yep I did guys so oh man that sucks Yep, I did. I poured the wrong one. I got the, the peanut butter color. That's not the one I wanted the most of, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to lighten it because that's just not the color I wanted, um, unfortunately. So we're going to lighten it with some white. And we're going to stir that white in there. Custom color again. Man, it's late. And I just said to myself, like, every time you craft late at night, you make mistakes. And here I am. It's not a huge mistake, but it's just not the color that I initially wanted to dominate this tray and it is too much resin to try and fix it so I know this is a lot of paint but I'm trying to get it as light as I can Mm, 
this close to it. Yeah, that's 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 close. This that's real close. Okay, we we might be an accomplice something here. I'm gonna put a little bit more white, and I probably won't even need to use that. Okay, that's kind of, that's close. That's, that's kind of it. What y'all think? That's, that's kind of, I'm going to bring it closer so y'all can see. But I think that is the color. Honestly. It might be a shade darker. But what y'all think? Them, them look the same, don't it? They look the same. I think it do. I think it do. To where I still, oop, wrong one. See, we got the, I still can um, maybe use that in that other color. If I can get this just a shade lighter, there we go. Yep, that's the color. Okay, we got that one mixed. Next, we said we was going to use the dark color. And this one. We're going to stir that up. And that is our darker peanut butter color. And then, and you know what? We're going to put just a little bit more in there to make that opaque. And that's kind of like a caramel. And we're going to leave it dark. Yep, just like that. This we're gonna use mica powder for because we just kind of want some pearl effect to it here and there. So we're gonna add some pearl to it. some pearl to it. And that give us that pearl, pearl white. So before we get going, I'm checking my lights again. I like these right here in this corner. Just needed to be. And once that top layer dries, it's pretty, it's pretty good to go. So I think I want to start with my dark color. I'm 
and that's not a, as opaque as I want it to be. It's still kind of translucent, so we're going to give it just a little bit more color. Stir that up good up in there. kind of want to give you some striations And the last one we did it a little different of course so I'm very um, I just want to see how this come out mm, piece of hair I don't want that in there and I'm just doing my colors because it seems like when I do the majority color, it drowns out everything else. So, I'm just doing my decorative stuff first. Then we can come back and fill them as they go. Now, here we go with our big pour. Let's stir this up some more. back through caramel color we're gonna come come back with our marigold and then finish it out with our cream color. And I will be scraping all the rest of the cups. We'll be getting all of the ribbon out.
was going to wait till in the morning and start working on it. But he called and was like, he can get you trucking on along. So that lets me know he, you know, he wants to try. I think he really enjoys having it at lunchtime. It has it, he has began to start depending on it. Um, so yeah. So if you know people who, it's an excellent gift for people who work out of their car. Or like if you at games and you want to sit and eat or anything while your kids are playing or you know work on your laptop or whatever is excellent for that and mom will be making one for myself next <sighs> it take about 40 about 40 about 40 ounces of resin you can get a good one out of it it's about a good 40 ounces Put that right in there. And then we'll do another pour of about 20 more ounces to 18 ounces. So it just depends. I can't remember what I did on the last one, so I'm gonna let that sit for a second while I clean up oh, my wife's on that one while I clean up the um cups That's looking pretty though. It's looking pretty. Oh, sorry, guys. On the last cup, and this is the fifth cup. If you need to make a big pour and you don't have a big silicone cup, you can use the big plastic cups from the Dollar Tree. Um, they work well for resin projects and they plastic so you can get a couple of pours out of those and they inexpensive you can clean them and reuse them a few times so if you don't have a big silicone cup you can get a regular four um what is it a four cup um big measuring cup from the dollar tree and those work just as well. That's what I actually used at first. And they work great. I just wanted a silicone cup. And I think that for the most part might be a little bit more than four ounces. So I'm just going through, not really agitating my lights. 
trying to keep them down. Got to remember those are in there. And just softening up my lines. Kind of letting everything just kind of flow without having, you know, lots of one color and i think that is gonna be gorgeous i really really like that okay so we got that out the way i'm gonna clean off my spatula move these out the way wipe my spatula off And then I'm going to come back and torch it. And then we're going to let it sit. It's too big to go into my resin um, heater. So this particular one will sit overnight. That's for sit. Come through, hit them bubbles. Got that shimmer of gold going through it. And this fits more of the interior of the car, I believe. So, as far as color wise, the other one was just a little bit, well, it was off all the way, as far as color. The gold, you know, it went, but this, I think, is going to match a little bit better. But, yeah, I saw that other Cadillac tray. It is gone. So this is a big pour, so you have to make sure you take your time and get those bubbles out. Everything can come to the surface. You need to be knocking them out. Give it time. Watch it for about a good hour or so. At least about a good the first 30 minutes. Don't want to agitate my lights. So if I let that to sit down in there without coming back up. Nope, it's coming right back up. Like, no, pick a boo. It's okay, it ain't coming up too far, and it's along the edge, so the light still should do or be okay.
And that's pretty much it. And when I come back, we're going to do our second layer. Turn it over. And you don't necessarily have to clean this up, but I just do. And then the next one. Like y'all, he really fell in love with the track. Oh my goodness. Come back and do the other part all right guys we are back with our steering wheel tray we're gonna go ahead and demold this resin gave me like it would not cure for days this is going on like day three or day two i didn't uh, put it in the oven several times um and it was just so flexible that i thought that i really wasted all this resin I was about to be super upset, but something just came to my mind to set it outside in the cold since it's freezing in Texas. And that made it get super hard. So I do not like that Viral Tech resin. I know it, it, it can't be how I mixed it because I mixed it both times, two separate times, and this tray still did not get hard like I wanted it to. Um, and I've had that problem before and I just thought maybe it was because of way I mixed it, but no, I do not like the resin. I will not be buying it. So I went back today and I got some American, um, amazing clear cast. I don't know if that resin is just for, you know, putting on the top of something. It's not for casting, but, um, it just did not do well and I'm still not a hundred percent so that this is going to be as durable but we're going to go ahead and demold it so we can um just see what it do and yeah all right so that's coming out okay i like the design but see it's still like not as sturdy as I need it to be and I'm not understanding what's the problem oh gosh please don't tell me okay we got a little sticking going on right here so I'm gonna have to try to remove this without tearing my mold okay hold tight Okay, guys, so when I demolded, I did get it out, but it was a bit thinner than the other one. So maybe, I don't know. I'm going to put this last layer of, on here. We're going to see if that helps. Um, But it's, it's just not hard. I don't, I don't understand what's going on, but it's... It's not hard at all. Y'all can see that? I can just bend that. So. At this point, I, I don't know. Sister. Well, I've had this happen before, but not to this extreme to where I poured this much. Um, it's. It's hard as what as as it can be, but it's just not. It's still flexible. I'm not understanding why. I don't know if it's if it's not a casting. Situation or what, but I'm going to waste 10 more ounces on it and see 
um, if that helps it. And this might just be like a tabletop ring. I don't know. So it might just be for um just coating. I don't know. I kind of want to throw it out and just start over, but I'm trying to save it. Okay, so we're going to put some coloring in it. I'm just going to do a solid color. Because I'm just not sure. For the best. And this is not a lot, so I can't see this making a big difference, but just never know. And then if it don't get hard after this, then I'm aborting mission. And we'll start over again. Have to go get some resin. And I'll just use the, my regular casting resin. I won't use that. I won't buy that no more. I'm so upset and disappointed. But it happens in crafting. So if you this happened to you before, don't feel bad. We live and we learn and... That's what we're here for, to learn. So we learning. This might help, might not. We don't know. Like he's been wanting this for the last couple of days, and I could have had if, if it would have dried, 
or gotten hired when it was supposed to, he would have been had it. This video would have been done. And yeah, that part. But for some reason, it's, you want to be a booger. And I just think it might just be a coating type resin or a table type resin. I don't know. It says heat resistant, so this might work for certain projects, maybe like the dishes or whatnot. But as far as casting or doing something as intricate or as deep as this, mm, I don't know, guys. You just don't see if this helps us. I would hate to have to waste all of this. But that's my only other option to kind of see if it will, if it's salvageable or if it's just a wrap. And I'm putting it in the oven. Because I don't even have time, days to be waiting to see if it works or not. So I will be putting this in the resin oven in one moment. I'm going to clean it up. And I thought I was going to finish finish it today at least put the um logo on it and do the front but especially and i got excited when it, i set it outside in the cold and it um just kind of did what it did it got a little hard and then as soon as it got into the um room and start to cool down and went right back to being flexible again so we gonna see if this is going to help us any I mean, I could use it for promotional sake. Um, you know, to do videos and things like that with. Little reels and clips and whatnot. So I guess it wouldn't be a total waste if, waste if I kept it for that, but... Y'all know how I am. I like for my stuff to be working and functional. But I'm so over this tray right now. Well, I'm hoping that it works. You know how you had them projects, you've been working on it for so long, you just want it to get done and over with so you can not have to worry about it. That's this one. You have problems with your molds, try Dawn dish soap and water. That tends to help so much. I thank the um, subscriber that gave me that tip. Shout out to you. I appreciate you. So it was like, try some Dawn dish soap. And y'all, that's the best. 
So that's what we do. It's a community. Like we help each other. We give each other tips and we make our crafting world better. And that's what I want this channel to be. A place where we learn, have fun, and, you know, help each other out. Interact with one another. Okay, I'm I'm over it. So I'm about to get ready to pop this in the oven. This is the bottom anyway, so as long as it ain't no bubbles or nothing, no big bubbles or nothing forming, we should be all right. So I'm going to let it sit for a minute and I'm going to go put it in the oven and then we'll come back and see what we have. Okay? Thank y'all for watching. We're going to come back and finish it up. Hopefully, keep your hands crossed, keep your fingers crossed that I'm going to come back and have good news. All right. All right, guys. We are back with our car tray. And guys, it's hard. It finally got hard. So maybe it was because I didn't have enough resin. Maybe it was it is the resin that I put. I don't know, but it's hard and we are super happy about it. So we're going to go ahead and demold. Yay! I'm super excited that it worked. It worked. It worked. I would have been so upset if I would have had to um, throw this piece away. It is it's too big to um yeah have to get rid of it's it's just too big for that we've wasted too much resin and yeah this came out pretty nice pretty nice i like it pretty color um nice striations so if you want to get the design that you like um you see how we poured that color in first and put it where we wanted it and then came back with all the others so yeah, that, that came out real nice. So now we know how to how to do that. So the, like I said, the third one, you, you you learn as you go. So here we are with, with the resin. We got a couple of areas that we can maybe try to, um, you know, touch up a little bit because of the second pour. But other than that, it came out real nice, real nice. So what I'm going to do, we're going to go ahead and put our wording in here and our logos and go from there so we have the logo that we're going to put in here and I just want to make sure everything is nice and evened out um it should be ready to peel right on off because I pre scraped it and I have a couple of little areas that need a little extra scraping So we're going to scrape those areas. This little eye, little dot on the eye. And see if that helps. Yeah. I got everything up. So again, I'm going to just kind of set that down so I can see where to place the wording. We want to make sure it's nice and even. And straight with the tray. All right. Christmas is tomorrow. This is Christmas Eve. So y'all know we've been working on this for a minute. Trying to get everything. Hope everyone got their Christmas shopping done. Got everything you wanted because the stores is closed. I have everything ready to go. And we are just, at this point, chilling. You know, just chilling. We just finished up everything that we needed to get for our grandkids. And right now, at this point, we are absolutely in chill mode. When you know, you don't do too much when every day is Christmas. You know, you don't have to, you know, go do too much. You don't have to do too much. It's really all about the love. 
it should be. Right? So Merry Christmas to all of you that is watching. I'm going to try to get this, this video up on Christmas. So Merry Christmas to each and every one of you. We appreciate you so much. I hope everyone has a wonderful, wonderful Christmas today. And thank y'all for watching my channel today. <laughs> Give you something to do. Oh, my little ducklings. Gotta get the little ducks. He specifically asked for the ducks. So we wanna make sure we get those. Yay. Okay, we got them. And then we're gonna place it kind of. Let me move that out the way so I can make sure I have a good placement. my little ducklings stay down and there we have it all right so now we're gonna prepare some resin to cover this up i'm gonna tidy up any areas that need to be tidied up and then we're gonna come back and finish her up she'll be done so hold tight don't you don't need no drink till you come back. No, you can't. Gone. You don't need no shot while you're driving. Go on and go and come on back here. You heard her, her. Come on. Stop it. Go to the stove and come on back. Did you hear me? You is not drunk, no. You hear him so much. He loves to play down. What? Uh -huh. Pineapple in the I, I didn't know you liked those. Oh, stop it, man. Them is my favorite. I like pineapple. I didn't yeah, know you even like. I don't know you like nine letters. Like cherry, apple, and tropical punch. Let me call her with it. Where, uh, ma'am, you need to be on your way home. Matter of fact, yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, guys, we are back. I done mixed up about four ounces of resin. No, we do not need all of that. But I'm going to use most of it or some of it. I'm going to pour a little bit of it in here. Don't need much. Just enough to coat the wording in. Just making sure that the letters is covered up. Then I can push it towards 
the edges. Y'all, this piece gave me the blues. I really think it was the resin. I think it was the temperature of it. Um, the product, just a, a combination of a few things, just my opinion. I really didn't, I, I don't care for that particular brand. And it knew it. No, no, but seriously, I didn't. I, I really didn't care for it. I've had that issue before. It just takes... I don't think it's a curing resin. I think it's just for coating like tabletops and stuff like that. It's not a casting resin, I'm sorry, is what I meant to say. I just think it's for like coating tabletops and stuff. Far as casting with it, it's a little bit difficult. And I might that could be on me. I could have gotten the wrong the wrong kind. So I'm going to take one for the team. I'm just glad that I'm able to still use this um, and that it got hard. So, super, super thankful about that. So, make sure your resin is a casting resin unless, you know, it's for the specific project that you're using it for. I wouldn't want you to have the issues I've had. Right. Goodness. Making sure we got enough going around the edges. side we almost there spreading it just wanted to connect Now, there was a couple places that I needed to, and I'm going to let this dry on this table, but it's a couple places that I need to just kind of rub around this whole thing with resin because, yeah, it got a little rough. So, starting with, and I kind of want to do it with a brush, but I don't really have one that isn't good. Let me see if I got one that's in good shape. Because I don't really need a lot of it. I just need some of it. But I think it'll do better with, with my hands. And so, yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. 
So I'm just gonna take some on my fingers because I don't want a whole, whole lot. And I'm just gonna rub it over these little areas. and see how that do part as the roughness from the second and last pour that I did kind of rough some of these edges up I just want to smooth them out I'm a little different with this one. Just gonna change this glove all the way out. y'all like what but this is what happened when I added that second that last layer in that and I had already pulled the mold apart that it just kind of gave me some uneven areas and they became sharp so I filed them and now I'm just giving it a coating so that it would be nice and smooth all over. I'll we'll come back and smooth it out. And it's on this wax paper, so it should be okay with the sticking part or not sticking. I just want to make sure it's coated. And then we're going to come back and hit it with, with some fire to make sure that it's smooth out. Everything is nice and even all the way around especially on these corners and edges one of these sides was real bad and once it smooths out a little bit make sure i wipe that cup off with this glove once it smooths out It should be okay. I'm praying. Hold tight. All right. Had to go find my little torch so we can start smoothing and cleaning. Cleaning up the bubbles and smoothing out the resin. So I'm going to have to come back and go over some areas. I'm 
like. But it's smoothing out. It looks like it's gonna work. Like this idea is going to work. So put that up in here. We need some more. And this little cup hold apart. It's not enough in there. Just make it smooth looking. Just making sure everything is everything. It's just like going back and forth. Let's clean this little cup holder up. Yeah, that's looking much better. So I'm just coating it to clean up all the little imperfections that we had from that second pour. Looking good. And we're gonna keep an eye on it. So right here, it is. It needs to come out. I'm gonna turn it and look at it from a different angle to make sure everything is is um like it's looking like it's supposed to. So, turn it. So you're not gonna see this top. And yeah, it's, I'm glad I did. This 
So this will have a blum. This wise, it will probably be labeled how to fix your bloopers, I guess, maybe. Because, yeah. I just want to make sure this top part is nice and pretty. Like it should be. And coat it well as well. We good. There's a lot everywhere. It's everywhere. Set this to the side and let it do what it do.
think that's as good as it's gonna get for now so we're gonna come back check it and we'll go from there hold tight 